87 driving dunk, 85 three-pointer, 87 mid-range, 87 block, 90 rebounding, 89 interior defense, 84 vertical with all of these badges. This build is going to be absolutely insane. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. So in my last video, I dropped the best ISO build. If you guys want to see my build and you haven't seen that video already, make sure to go watch that video. Link will be in the description. But anyways, I had to bring you guys the best center build. So if you're a guard, go hook your boy up with this video. Go tell him about this video. Only if you're a center, sit here and enjoy because I got the three best center builds in NBA 2K21 Next Gen here for you guys so make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helped you out at all subscribe to the channel if you are excited to grind 2k21 next gen i'm trying to see who's excited bro even drop a comment below what you're doing when you first get on next gen but anyways whether you think these builds are good or not these are the builds that i think are the three best center builds in the game some of them you might think are better than the other ones but these are the top three for sure in 2k21 prelude i've predicted the three best center builds and i actually got them exactly right they ended up being the best builds in the game that ended up dominating in stage dominating in wagers and dominating the 2k21 current gen scene so once again we're going to do the same thing and show you guys the three best center builds in 2k21 next gen so let's stop wasting your time and let's get straight into the video man let's get it Okay, y'all, so we're going to do the first center build. Before I go into this, I'm going to say they're all inside and outside builds. They can do everything. And if you make an inside build that can't shoot that's a center, what are you doing? Like, the stats in the build system is so overpowered that this year that you would just have to be actually dumb to do that. Like, you would have to be crazy. Why would you not spread the floor? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, now... I know that video is titled center builds, but power forward is the same thing, bro. So I don't want y'all coming. Oh, oh, this is a power forward build. No, it's the same thing. It's a big man. Okay. Center power forward. It's the same thing in the park. It's the same thing everywhere. So power forward is just better because you unlock more badges. You unlock more shooting badges. You just unlock more things at power forward. So you want to go power forward. Then hand this doesn't matter. I'm going to go left. Jersey number doesn't matter. Now the first one we're going to do is 6-9. Now once again, I made a center builds video last year in the prelude. And most of them were 6-9, 6-8 centers. I had a bunch of people commenting, oh, these short centers aren't going to be good. Well, guess what? Those three center builds ended up being the best center builds in the game. And they dominated wagers. They dominated the competitive scene in pro-am and in park and in stage. So wait we're gonna go 227 pounds for this one we're gonna go for a little faster players we still have high interior defense our speed with ball is going up our driving dunk is going up and a lot of our speed verticals stamina everything's going up right there wingspan we're gonna go one um below the default uh body shape we're gonna go defined and you can go actually like build we're gonna go build and we're gonna continue now when it comes to the upgrades now i explain a lot about how the upgrades work in my first video on my best iso build that will be linked in the description so if you're confused on why i'm upgrading some stuff or how this is working then just go watch that video i explain it in there but anyways for this center build this is going to have badges in every category finishing shooting playmaking and driving it's really going to have a nice spread of badges while also having more defense and shooting badges as well so the first thing i'm going to upgrade is i'm going to max speed with ball and this is going to automatically put my ball ball handle up and yeah my player is gonna be able to take people off the dribble he's gonna get quick first step it's gonna be a w right i'm gonna put my pass accuracy up now pass accuracy is actually very underrated you're not gonna be able to make simple passes without pass accuracy plus you get bailout look at bailout on a center that's a w now i want to get a little more playmaking about it so i'm actually gonna put my ball handle up to a 53 just so i unlock unpluckable as well i want to get unpluckable look at see i don't get unpluckable at 52 ball handle 53 now i get unpluckable steals are very easy to get this year so unpluckable i feel like it's going to be a very important badge this year interior defense i'm going to go ahead and max that out to 89 perimeter defense we're going to max that out to 78 defense rebound we're going to max that out to a 94 we're also going to max out the block to a 93 now i get 21 defensive badges now i feel like we're going to go back to this in a second because we're low-key spending too much attributes in this category here. Now we're going to go to driving. We're going to go ahead and max the driving dunk. We're going to go ahead and max the driving. Actually, we're not going to max the driving line. We're going to put it to a 67. And then we're going to put the standing dunk to... 
and 87 just so we get those eight finishing badges. So as you can see, we're a 90, we're a 79 overall. We still have plenty of attributes to go. We forgot about shooting. We're gonna upgrade shooting, max the three point. That's gonna put my mid range up. Then we're gonna max the mid range. And then we're gonna put the free throw all the way up as well. Look at, we're only a 94 overall. So I'm gonna max the speed. Boom, look at, my physicals are looking crew. So we gotta do something about this. So right now I'm gonna put my defense rebound down four. I'm gonna put my offensive rebound down four. Three. Then I'm gonna put my interior defense down one and then I don't need 24 shooting badges I could deal with 17 shooting badges So we're gonna put my free throw down till we barely get 17 which is a 68 free throw That's literally perfect I still get good Hall of Fame shooting badges and I unlock all of them except for circus shooter and circus shooters like fadeaway threes like step back three so i don't really think i'm going to be using that as a center a lot so i don't need to worry about that then when it comes to the driving we could deal with seven driving badges so i'm going to put my driving dunk to an 87 because that way at 99 i'll be able to unlock the elite contact dunks as well which is at a 90 i don't want to go any lower than that but that's just to save attributes because we do need to upgrade these physicals so let's go back to the physicals we're going to max speed we're going to max acceleration we're going to max the stamina and then we're going to max our vertical and then i'm going to put my strength up and boom actually Let's see if we can finesse the system a little more right here. See, look at this. How you know? Okay, so if we put, if we put the offense rebound down to a 64, we can get our driving dunk on a 90, get eight finishing badges, and look at that. That's a W right there. Very big W. Let's see. I can unlock tight handles if I want to. Okay, look at look. See smart double h in the building and you want to know why look at this so now i can also upgrade this a little bit okay oh, yeah, we're not gonna upgrade that though um yeah this is a w this is a w so look it now just because i put my strength down a little bit and my and my offense rebound down like two i just got like a plus seven or something to my ball handle i've got a plus three to my driving dunk and i got a plus one to my strength I got an extra finishing badge and an extra couple playmaking badges. So now we have eight finishing, 17 shooting, seven playmaking, and 18 defensive. We have a lot of these unlocked as a lot of most of the badges unlocked as well. So this is perfect. And look at this ball handle at 99. I'm going to have a 70 ball handle at 99. So I'm going to be able to get some extra dribble moves. I have a 90 driving dunk. So I'm going to unlock every single contact dunk in the game. I also have an 87 standing dunk as well. So I'm going to get more contact dunks that way. I'm going to have a 97 block at 99. I have great rebounding, great perimeter defense for a center as well. At 99, I'll have an 82 perimeter defense. And then look at my vertical for a center. Rebounds are huge. So having a vertical that's high as an 89 and 99 is huge to get rebounds. I'm also fast and look at my bad spread it's literally absolutely perfect so we're gonna move on from there and we're gonna choose our takeover now it's interesting because i unlock slashing sharp lock and rim isn't that crazy i unlock lock and rim to rim protector takeovers now the first one i'm gonna pick is limitless threes i just want to be able to shoot that ball very easily and I feel like this build with the high ball handle is going to be able to dribble pretty well and take people off the dribble. So I think you could e you should either go with finishing moves to get the contact dunks, easy blow bys to blow by people, or you can go with one of the lock badges. I would go with either extreme clamps or I would go with paint intimidation. I'm personally going to go with paint intimidation for now and get a little sharp a rim sharp combo as the takeovers we're gonna go ahead complete this build and it's gonna be a two-way three level score this is a godlike build bro compared to john collins jaron jackson jr and pascal siakam anyways let's get into build number two now these next two center builds are gonna be very good as well they're a little more similar to first one anyways hannah's number doesn't matter we're gonna go six nine 240 pounds this time so not minimum um wait we're gonna go seven one wingspan we don't want to cruise our three-pointer bro that's the thing if you max your wingspan on this look at it cruises my wingspan but we are gonna have our cruises my three-pointer but we are gonna have the next build is gonna have max wingspan so if you want max wingspan on the center the next build is gonna show that anyways we're gonna go with built again i don't know i feel like burley just looks too dumb build just looks good and now we're gonna upgrade the player now this build isn't gonna have a lot of finishing badges but it's gonna have a lot of shooting a lot of defense and a decent amount of playmaking but it's just gonna be basically this build is not gonna rely on badges as much but stats a lot more because it's gonna still have those just finishing stats even though it doesn't have the finishing badges so what we're going to do with the driving dunk is we're going to max it. Then we're going to put it down to an 87 driving dunk. And we're going to put 
this down a little bit until uh, we lose. There we go. Perfect. So I have a driving layup as a 62, driving dunk 87. I don't get any finishing bets, and I'm not going to upgrade anymore. But the good thing about this is once I hit 99, I'll have every contact dunk um, available to me. So it won't matter. I'll have a 91 driving dunk. So I'll still be able to catch contacts. And I've seen this build in action. It catches so many alley-oops. The finishing is actually absurd with this build. It's almost like it has like 20 finishing bets. Anyways, next we go to the shooting. Max the three-pointer. Max the mid-range. And then I don't want like a bunch of shooting bets. I only 25. We'll go with like 22. So we'll go to 84 free throw. Now with the playmaking, once again, speed with balls important. I want to be able to take people off the dribble with this build a little more, but not as much as the last build. So we're going to max speed with ball to 69. Put it down to 68, actually. Put the ball handle up to 53. And then I, pass accuracy is important. You can't just not have pass accuracy on any build. So we need to upgrade this too rather than ball handle. So we're going to put this up until we get four playmaking badges. So that's going to be a 51 pass accuracy and it still gets it gets unpluckable and quick first step and those are really the only badges we need on this build anyways then when it comes to the defense i'm gonna max the defense or rebound i'm gonna max the block i'm gonna max the perimeter defense and i'm gonna max the interior defense now as you can see i'm upgrading too fast already on defense so we're gonna put the interior down a little bit to save some points we're also gonna put down the block a little bit just to save some points and we're gonna put up the offensive rebound one and then we're gonna put the defensive rebound down a little just to get some points and if we go any more down then we have 16 so perfect 17 defensive badges and i still get hall of fame brick wall then we're gonna go ahead and max the speed max the acceleration max the vertical max the stamina and boom look at that 95 overall that is literally perfect this build is going to go crazy, bro. It has 22 shooting badges as a big man. It can get quick first step. It can get unpluckable. It gets all the most of the defensive badges. It gets 17 as well. And these stats are absolutely insane. My three-pointer is going to be an 89. Are we kidding, bro? Like, that, that's ridiculous, bro. Absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead, go on to the takeovers. Now, the takeovers with this one is going to be a little different, bro. I've seen this build in action. The best takeovers is going to be the first one easy blow buys bro this takeover is actually insane anytime you get this takeover you just run by people like it just it just lets you go right by them and you just get a dunk every time and then we're gonna go limitless range so it's gonna be like a slashing stretch almost and we're gonna go with that finish the build and that's gonna go ahead and give us the two-way stretch glass cleaner this build is absolutely insane but let's get on to the last and probably the best center build in the game now, I know I've been bashing centers a lot, but we're actually going to make a center for this one. We're going for more of a defensive player that has a lower three-pointer. And this is for the... I feel like this is for people that have... That can shoot good, whether they have an 89 three-pointer or a 70 three-pointer. And this build is just going to be better. It's going to have max wingspan. It's going to have all that. So, we're going to go left-handed. The jersey number doesn't matter. We're going center this time. And we're still going to go 6-9, though. We're still going 6-9. We're just going for the stats and the badge difference between center and power forward this time. And we're actually going to go 220 pounds because we need to make up for the center position. We need to get, we're going to be fast. Okay, this is going to be a fast center build that can get, play amazing defense, that can shoot well, and just really do everything with maximum wingspan. So once again, we're going to max the wingspan out to 7-7. Seven, seven. I have a 7-7 seven, seven wingspan. Like, are we, are we kidding? 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, what? That doesn't even sound right. Then we're going to go built. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue. And now we're going to go ahead and upgrade the player. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is my driving. My driving is going to be crazy. I'm going to be able to dunk on everybody. Standing dunk, max. Driving dunk, max. Boom. 95 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, and a 70 driving layup. So if you didn't like how the other builds didn't have too many finishing, this build is going to be able to go crazy in the finishing. Three-pointer, we're going to get a 78 because we maxed the wingspan. We're going to put up the mid-range to an 82. And then we don't need 20 shooting badges, so we're going to put this down until we get 17. So look at that. Already 17 shooting and 11 finishing. This build's looking godlike so far. Then we want the speed and ball to be good. Now, once again, speed and ball is more important than ball handle. So we're not even going to upgrade anything else right now in playmaking. We're going to look at pass accuracy a little later. Now we're going to max the defensive rebound. We're going to max the offensive rebound. We're going to max the block. We're going to max the interior defense. Now look at this. Nine, like, whoa. This looks absolutely insane right now. I'm not going to lie. Physicals. We're going to max the speed. We're going to max the acceleration. 
we're gonna we're not gonna put the strength up all the way now once again every 2k these center builds end up not mattering with the strength y'all could say whatever you want in the comments but the best center builds no the best centers in the game the the ways your heads all the people that play competitively know that strength does never ends up mattering in these comp 2k's then we're gonna max vertical we're gonna max the stamina and boom we are at 95 overall max now the thing is though there's a couple things to worry about here yeah the defense looks good the perimeter defense is a 25 though and the pass accuracy is a 25 everything else looks absolutely fantastic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all these stats the 92 right here we're gonna put these stats down so i'm at 92 defense around 90 offense around 92 block 87 uh interior then we're gonna put down the driving and the standing dunk just a tad bit and then we're gonna put up the pass accuracy up to a 50. now while i'm doing this this is just in case you want pass accuracy or perimeter defense okay so if you don't like the fact that this build doesn't have perimeter defense or pass accuracy then go ahead and change those things okay if not then don't change this so now with the attributes you have remaining put on pass accuracy or put on perimeter defense okay you can even lower these even more to like 87 whatever or even just keep going with the perimeter defense and max the perimeter defense but what i'm gonna do is leave all of these max go back to my standing dunk and max my driving dunk as well and i'm just gonna put everything back to normal and we're gonna go with this build now once again if you don't you can make this build three different ways if you want to take off some of these 95 stats put them down to 90 go ahead and do so if you want to upgrade the perimeter defense and the pass accuracy but i have played this game and i know centers aren't gonna have to pass as much unless you're going to be taking unless you're going to be handling the ball as much as you're going to be on those other two builds i just made and also perimeter defense people have been making contested threes and they don't even have badges on people with high perimeter defense i have a 95 perimeter defense and dudes are literally greening some pretty crazy shots over me so i feel like that's not even gonna matter as much so gameplay wise that's why i'm going off of putting those badges so low but otherwise if we look at everything else a 90 vertical at 99 98 stamina 82 speed 99 rebounding for offense and defense 99 block i'm gonna have an 82 three-pointer 86 mid range 99 standing dunk and 99 driving dunk and look at the badges 11 finishing 17 shooting three playmaking 25 defensive oh my god gosh the badges are looking nice we're gonna go on to the takeovers and for me i'm gonna pick the limitless range takeover and i'm gonna go ahead and pick either the c future takeover or the pain termination doesn't matter i'm just gonna go with c the future and we're gonna go with like a stretch cleaner kind of build right here complete the build and that's gonna go ahead and give us a pain beast very interesting because that is not at all what we are we have an 82 three-pointer where a pain beast so that is very very glitchy anyways guys those are the three best center builds in the game yes short centers are going to take over again yes every center center builds really just gonna be able to do just about everything but these are the ones that take advantage of the stats take advantage of the badges to max the capabilities of the center position of power forward position whatever if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new subscribe to the channel if you're excited about next time i'm going to be streaming a lot so make sure you turn on noties on the youtube channel also comment down below which one of the three center builds do you think is the best the first the second or the third one but anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf y'all I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own They saying all girls are the same, probably they're my dumb She said, can you stay with me, no, I gotta go Diamond dripping off my neck, it's wet I'm about to flex up on my necks